So a couple of days ago, I picked up a set of uh, navigation lights on eBay uh, or Amazon or something like that. Either way, it came to less than £25, uh, as opposed to some of the marine stores, which were starting to look at about £60, £70 for a set of three. So uh, they came through in the post earlier today, and uh, just going to have a little breakdown of how they actually look uh, and I'll show you how to wire them up as I've done here uh, later on in the video I'll install them uh, in on the boat uh, but in the meantime we'll just uh, have a little look and see what's inside these so it's a very simple screw that just undoes there's a small rubber gasket which uh, goes over the form factor just there. The lens uh, sits on top of the rubber gasket so that in, uh, ensures a watertight seal and underneath you have your LED bulb. So you can see you've got six uh, little lights on the LED. Um, yeah it's a pretty decent powerful unit. Uh, I powered this up earlier. Uh, these bulbs didn't come with it. I did get these um, after the fact, uh, I picked those up from my marine store. They didn't cost too much. Get the focus back in there. So they didn't cost too much. Uh, I think it was about two pound fifty for all of them, uh, and that's just going to allow uh, me to bolt them up to the hole quite easily. So yeah, we'll just uh, go through a very quick little wiring episode. Uh, apologies for this. I'm not quite. Clive in terms of the viewing angles and things like that but ultimately it's um, a very quick how to install some new nav lights which are pretty cheap. So these are the Chinese ones um, yeah they came in very cheap compared to what some of the marine stores were doing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed in some wires through on these little bits here and I'm going to terminal connect the ends and loop the wires back in so they can clip on to the respective little posts there. The back of the LED unit uh, we've actually got some sponge padding so we've got some sponge padding on the back of that. Um, I think that's just to uh, stop it coming in contact with any electrical components but hey I'm not too sure. So the wiring I'm using is, um, I think this is 16, 16 gauge, 18 gauge, which is probably quite overkill considering the amount of power uh, this is drawing through. I think it's the equivalent of 6 watts at 12 volts, so that's what, half an amp, give or take. Um, I did have a tool somewhere that I've completely misplaced in the last three minutes. There we go. So this is just going to be the very simple wiring the bare shell and bring the wire, give it a little clip and so that's probably more than enough going on there, the split, the positive and negative and we're just going to feed I'm feeding my positives through on the top side. I've determined the top and bottom. These two little notches here uh, are on the bottom. I'm feeding the positive just through the top section, just like that. So you can see it's just come through there. Negative, same again, coming up through there. And that's all looking pretty tasty. We strip back this as one. There's a second, so we've got two nicely exposed wires. Um, Maplins, may they rest in peace. Uh, I picked up before they close some uh, crimp eyelet things. These are the 3.2 millimeter ones. They are absolutely perfect for this job. Um, 
the slightly larger ones that I had were about four millimeters. There was a little bit too much free play that I wasn't too keen on, um, especially if this vessel was going to be underway. It'd be nice to have something that's a bit more secure. So we feed in the wire just so we've got a little bit of exposed wiring coming through the top. You guys might not even be able to see that. I might just be screaming into the void there. There we go. Hang on, let's bring this up as close as possible. There we go. So you guys can see I've got a little bit of wire protruding from the top. And uh, what I'm going to do is focus back down on that. Give it one crimp and give it a second crimp. That didn't feel right. That's... Oh no, that's secure. Cool, nice, easy. We'll rotate that round. Give it a little crimp. Give it a second crimp. There we go. And I'm pretty confident now that that's not going to move for anything. Undoing the brass po uh, screws. And we're just going to loop the wire back just so it all connects in its respective little places. Um, what I'll do tomorrow when I'm slightly less done down with allergies, I'll do an outside install uh, video and just tailor it onto the back end of this. So wires, we've got our positive feed, we've got our negative feed. The positive, I want to connect into that. The negative, I want to connect into this. So I'm gonna bring this round and loop it. Fit that in place, get my brass screw back. So that's my positive firmly in place, that's going absolutely nowhere. Just going to pull back on positive wire a little, just so it doesn't want to foul of the negative post. And it also looks quite nice and tidy. And so we bring the negative wire around, round, negative, whatever you want to call it. Brass screw back into its thing. Tighten that up. You can probably hear the seagulls in the background. I'm actually out on the boat at the moment. There we go. So the wiring on there is pretty damn tasty. It's nice and tight it's not running afoul of anything there's nothing exposed to touching anything that shouldn't be touching we install the bulb back in i'm not gonna lie at first glance the quality of these bulbs actually looks really really good i'm very happy uh, with the purchase i'm going to put a link up um, in the description below so you guys can hopefully pick up something uh grab yourself a bargain um so yeah i've pretty much got my stern light all taken care of there and this is absolutely tiny uh, I'm not gonna lie I'll show something in a second for size comparison there we go the reassuring click and we have our screw and we just screw that all back in place and so those Pretty decent, uh, damn good set of lights for less than 30 quid. Uh, the LED quality is pretty damn nice. Uh, I've wired it up for less than a pound worth of materials and a little later on I'm going to show how to connect those to the vessel. Then we're going to run the wiring looms and hopefully at the end of this video we'll have a working example of a complete nav light install.
So last night I wired up the uh, nav lights. Um, now what I've done is I've made a small template. I don't know if you can see that within the area here, it is quite bright. Uh, so I'm going to be mounting the uh, Portland Starboard one uh, this morning. Um, we're going to be drilling through the uh, gel coat and uh, before I go in with the big uh, drill bit I'm going to be doing a small pilot hole. This is two and a half millimetres. I have a marker for one bolt, the second bolt and where the wiring is going to be going through. So we'll just drill through with the pilot hole now. And uh, we move on to uh, the larger one, which is uh, five millimeters. I think I went in a little bit too hard and quick there, just cracked some of the gel coat, uh, but that shouldn't matter too much. Uh, there's gonna be some bedding compounds that goes around there just to make sure everything seals up properly. Same again for this one. Okay, so we have our three holes drilled up for the uh, nav light. And what I'm gonna do is feed up some wiring through here, uh, just to make sure everything can mate up quite well. So the bolts run quite nicely through there. Uh, I'm gonna use some butt connectors and uh, heat shrink wrapping and that way we should be able to get a solid decent watertight connection and be able to take it forward from there. Anyone that's ever worked with uh, butyl tech understands how uh, messy this is. It's really, really, really messy, but it's perfect. I've used this to temporarily seal quite a few items uh, during the storms uh, we've had over the last couple of years. There. So that acts as a little gland for the wiring and that will press up against the hull uh, when that's fitted. And we can now place a bolt through the top. <coughs> and the bolt through the bottom. So I will go inside, pull this through, <coughs> attach the bulb and uh, we've pretty much moved up into product, on this side at least. So, uh, for those that were paying attention, um, I may not have microphoned myself up properly. That's my mistake. The nav lights are now installed. Uh, my morning job is over and I'm now heading up to the old house that I used to stay at. I kind of use that as an office every now and again. And then I'm heading up to London to have a meeting with a few other people regarding some work. Uh, so, brief update. Uh, I'm still on the boat, as you guys can see. Uh, still down on the marina. Things have been going okay. I had a friend come and stay with me uh, for a while, which was nice. Um, 
it was interesting to share 26 feet with one other person for five weeks. A little bit cramped, not going to lie. But on the whole, it was a good experience. Um, boat work's coming on quite well. The interior refit is coming on really nicely. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a vlog. Um, the electrical work is uh, getting underway. The interior is looking pretty sorted. The V-berth is pretty fine. The forward hatch is needing some extra work doing to it. Uh, you may be able to hear a wheezy little pup in the background. So there's a load of dogs down at this marina. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, so all in all, things are going pretty well. Uh, mental health is actually doing pretty okay for the time being. Um, I think one of the biggest problems that I had was not being on the right kind of medication uh, to balance out the combination of stress and anxiety and depression. So uh, the new meds that I'm on are taking care of that quite nicely. Excuse me. And uh, with the combination of that, it allows for the multitasking and being able to sort of plan everything that needs to get underway for doing the reworks on the vessel. Ideally, I'd like to have this complete and done. And if I can sell it on, get something larger, I'd like something with standing headroom. That'd be amazing. But we're gonna take it out by the end of this summer. We've got some engine work that needs to be done. I'm still juggling self-employed life, which is uh, not particularly easy, but that's part and parcel of uh, what it all is. Still enjoying some of it, uh, still finding it some stressful, but we're getting there. Um, so I'll try and do another update before the end of the summer. Uh, I'd like to do one sooner, but we'll see how life is and stress and all that jazz. Speak to you later, bye.